as I noted, this site came out of uh, this boot camp and, and the vision we had at this boot camp to create a gathering place for people engaged in health modeling community. Now, you are welcome, if you would be interested in doing so, in registering for this. Um, uh, and, and that involves you getting a password assigned to you and, and et cetera, putting in your, your information. Um, uh, but uh, if you are interested in browsing it, you can also sort of use these buttons, but you'll only get a very impoverished uh, view of that. There's Kurt, for example. Uh, and I have actually taken the liberty of logging in here, okay? So um, I was involved in, um, in creating the site and uh, I and, and logged in. Okay, now um, this site is one that uh, stimulate, um, stimulate growth of this community by providing access to resources, et cetera, okay? So I'm going to go close just, just so I don't um, get overloaded by all the things going on. I'm gonna close my other windows there. Okay, um, so this, uh, this site is designed to, uh, to, to allow people visiting it and particularly logging in, so I've logged in, hence my profile is there, um, to encounter a variety of resources, variety of opportunities to interact, and information proactively about contributions of others. This is what is called, it's not a, just a website which you view, it's a site to which you contribute. And it has elements of a, um, uh, of a social media site where it updates you as things are posted. So you can see here that um, uh, there's a set of navigation options along the top whereby you can see models, lectures, um, information about lectures, which and, and a key element of the lectures is basically bundling together um, slides with uh, videos, with any exercises that accompany that lecture, with models that accompany the lecture, for example, which are run in the lecture. So a lecture is a bundle of, 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 of types of related material that all relate to that lecture. And while you could create a lecture just for a video, commonly it's accompanied by example models or exercises or, or slides, um, uh, notes, etc. Models uh, are, are posted models here. Um, and uh, models that can be tagged with various things, for example, marking they're in NetLogo or they're in AnyLogic or they're in Vensim, et cetera. Um, you can also uh, learn about partnerships. And the idea here is there's two types of partnerships. Um, so one type is you want to find someone to join a project. So you're, you're interested, remember I argued, to build a good model, you really want a team. You want a village to, to help build the model. You want people from different backgrounds. You, you need someone who's comfortable in a technical domain of interacting with the model, but you also need you know, domain experts, maybe patient and family advisors or others embedded within the system with lived experience, et cetera. So we have opportunities to find people to help help out with projects on a sustained basis, but there may also be opportunities where you're just looking for someone to solve this problem. Why is your model going so slowly? Why are you getting a weird error message? Um, you need someone to convert a model from any logic into net logo or vice versa. Um, you have a very specific need and you're just looking for someone to match for that sort of work. Um, we also have communities here and these communities are focused on particular topics and you know any of these could be created by you you can go create a community for example um, and you could give it an icon and a community name and a description you could give it some tags um, you know so so you could uh, for example add the tag agent based models or you know maternal child health some of them may be already there um, some may not be and you can add these tags in, in which case they could be reused by others, for example. Um, you can say whether it's a closed community, you wanna invite people, or whether you want anyone to find out about it. And then to enable, do you want discussions specific to this community, 
file uploads, group events, lectures, videos specific to your community, et cetera. So this is a way that you can sort of find, um, um, find uh, a way to group together materials and, and topical videos and models and, and um, event-related posts uh, for your communities. Um, there's also a general forum and a forum that's, that can be specific to communities. Most of these things can be specific to communities. You can go ask questions um, on this, and I'm going to ask my, um, uh, my students to try to monitor this on an ongoing basis and post responses. So this is a way of reaching out and, and asking other practitioners um, uh, you know, for, for help. Online resources um, uh, get, get post, uh, posted here. Uh, you can see Jeff is, is active here. Um, and uh, you see comments on, on various um, types of materials that, um, that uh, Jeff and Kurt um, have posted. And there's a wide variety of other things, you know, videos and events. Now, when it comes to events, you can create, for example, new events and you can share when they will be and a description, uh, the health subdomain that they are with respect to, and you can share location. And you can be notified of events near your location or a broader set of, 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 of um, events. So you can ask for events, you know, in, um, in California or events uh, in Canada, et cetera. Um, so this, this is designed to try to allow for people to be better aware of, of events that are taking place that might be germane to their interests. And those events could be posted to a sub-community related to that sub-community's needs or more generally to the health modeling community uh, uh, more, more, more in, in, in greater breadth. Um, uh, beyond that, um, we can have recent status updates. What have, what have people, uh, for example, uh, posted? or activity related to, to my uh, interests um, uh, and, uh, and things that people have shared. Uh, and then there's this course that myself, Ross Hammond, uh, Elizabeth Brooke um, helped put together uh, and where uh, we shared materials from that and uh, share, share slides, for example, share exercises. And Kurt has helped to organize these in a very uh, focused way online. Um, so this is far from exhaustive. Um, there's some other things, for example, I can subscribe to funding opportunities um, of certain sites. Um, I can advertise a new funding opportunity that I've heard about or search funding opportunities that lie within a certain area. Um, and I can look for you know, international agencies, NGOs, foundations, federal agencies, et cetera. Um, and this relates, of course, to NIH's support for this, where they're going to be letting us know about postings that, that can be made to this site related to system science and health in the states. Um, but we might be posting CIHR opportunities or opportunities from Robert Wood Johnson Foundation or opportunities from um, international groups like WHO that might be of interest uh, to people. So this is a broad site. It's a site that uh, is designed to be customized. Um, uh, for example, my <coughs> profile, um, uh, I can go and, uh, and, and, and edit this. And for example, uh, I, can, I can do status updates on my situation. And I can actually follow particular people. Um, and uh, I can also invite um, uh, people to follow me. Uh, but basically, I can subscribe to certain types of, of things. And uh, I, can, I can be notified of things that are germane to, to my particular interests. So um, here, uh, we have this opportunity to, to gather um, uh, information about our communities of interest into one place and subcommunities, which can be gated or not. And we can also go and, and, and limit the information that we have shared with us so that um, we, we, we follow certain people or are notified of certain types of contributions, for example, any logic models, et cetera. Um, 
So these are tools that we can use to link us together. And it's my sincere hope that those present here, regardless of whether um, they stay in touch uh, with us uh, or join another event, will consider joining this site. Because this site uh, is going to be a hub, I anticipate, of a lot of activity related to the types of topics we're talking about here. And I am hoping to contribute the sorts of materials we've seen in this boot camp, but many others as well, the sort of example models, et cetera, to this site for broader sharing. And it's my hope that subcommunities can be set up in areas of uh, priority within public health and healthcare to, to, to link those individuals who share common interests and allow for more uh, efficient exchange of awareness of opportunities, of partnership um, potential, of funding, um, funding announcements, of relevant papers in the system science and health area, and of uh, relevant resources like videos that appear online, etc. cetera. Um, so I'm, I'd like to invite you to join uh, this community. Uh, because I think it will be growing rapidly and because I think for all of us, myself included, it can offer considerable potential for enriching our practices in the areas covered by this, uh, by this uh, boot camp event. So I'll, I think I'll leave it with that with the community. I'm glad to answer any questions people may have about this. But it is with great pleasure that I see this idea, which started with a small seed of an idea of linking up people between our boot camps, having grown into uh, such a um, such a robust uh, a robust tree, um, and offering, like those outside, so many fruits for us to take. Okay. Um, any questions that I can uh, answer or or. Uh, Concerns that I can address about this site right now? I want to. Thanks for putting that together. Oh. I see a great job. It was a labor of love. Um, <laughs> and it was one thing that I, I will tell you, I appreciate your kind comments there. One thing I will tell you is uh, for those who, have, uh, who work like myself in software development, there's a certain great pleasure in seeing um, you know, a, a well-crafted, um, thought-through design fully finally realized. And I have to credit the NIH for their funding of this through R25, for Elizabeth Brook and Ross Hammond, for their investments in this vision and helping to refine it, and for Kurt Kruger for all his work, and for Jeff McDonald's works with many iterations of this work and for the work of some of my students in joining and hosting things. As well, um, but um, the only way we could realize this is through many people's help. But it is uh, it is something that I'm I'm really honored to uh, to be part of and to see come out of our, our boot camps. Yeah. Um, other questions I can um, I could help address here. Comments. We're going to try to make sure this is an international site and there's. While NIH is the sponsor, we'll try to make sure that there is good content that reflects a global perspective um, and uh, commitment to health in many countries and to awareness of opportunities um, uh, outside of the boundaries of the US as well as inside of us. Okay. Other comments, questions? Okay, well, it's with uh, great honor to be able to show that to you. So ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, uh, the time is late and the sun inches towards the horizon.